here's the thing, okay? Um, the difference with today's market and the market is now 15 years ago. Yeah, that long ago, 15 years ago, was one, uh, back then a lot of people were not actually qualified for the mortgages that they were getting. You can walk into a bank, tell them how much you make, and they give you the money. So, of course, you had a number of people defaulting on their loans because they truly could not afford those mm -hmm. homes. And then also, you had a number of homeowners that cashed in on equity. Um, and then when prices dropped, they found themselves upside down in their homes, dr drastically upside down in their homes. So then they just let them go. So you mm -hmm. had a number of foreclosures between those who couldn't afford homes or those who just didn't want them anymore. They just let them go. And that's why right now, um, and, and people have actually kind of stopped asking, you know, a lot of people a couple years ago, oh, you know, I want to find a foreclosure home. I want to get a good deal. I'll go and fix it up. I don't know the last time I've seen a foreclosure home on the, on the act actual market you know yeah yeah but when i was doing some research the other day i had a buyer calling in and said they want a foreclosure i quickly pulled up my computer and in all of orange county there were only six active foreclosure mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying all of orange county i'm talking about from biflo to dr phillips i'm talking about from zellwood to lake nona yeah. and everything in between there were only on just that few. And just like you were talking a minute ago about all of the building going on, Glenn was talking about how quick those apartments popped up over there on the 414 right up there at Rose Avenue. Mm -hmm. They're building apartments everywhere. As long as you see them popping up them buildings, those apartments everywhere, that lets you know we're in the middle of a housing shortage. Yes. And as long as we're in the middle of a housing shortage, it's going to be very, very hard to have a a bubble to burst. Because demand. That, demand. That's, that's really the main difference. The demand is strong, and especially in Florida. Florida is one of the top states that everyone in the country is moving to for a number of reasons. So that demand is not going anywhere anytime soon. So how can you think houses are going to go on sale if everybody's looking for a house? Right. You know, and that's why I tell people right now, it's what, if we were to compare it to the stock market, it's what you call a bear market right now. You know, bidding wars are still commonplace. NAR says on average, you're having four and a half offers on every house. Mm -hmm. I know on the houses I put on the market recently, um, they sold, um, one of them sold, both of them sold before we even had the open house. When I think about it, <laughs> yeah. you know, both of them sold before we had the open house. The people just came out to the open house. As a matter of fact, when I think about it, the last three have sold. I've got the winning yeah. contract on the last three before they even had the open house to see it. So, so as long as you got bidding wars going on now, if you're a seller, you want to make the move now because you want to know why. You don't need to make a lot of renovations. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is make your house clean. Oh, you? Yeah. If you just make your house clean, you, you don't need to do no renovations. You don't need to go in and do all of them updating. upgrades and everything right now because you don't have any competition. Mm -hmm. So just make your house clean. Make your appeal, your your landscaping good and beautiful so people walk love and get a good feeling walking up to your house. And then let your house be clean and you'll be okay. And don't forget, people, interest rates are on the rise. So it's still a great time to take advantage if you're selling. And Jasmine has some ideas on some programs that are designed to make it easy for you to sell first. Yes. I mean, to buy first and, and then sell, sell last. After. Yes. Buy it's first, an amazing program, sell last, which is critical. You can actually um, get with the program. They will give you the funds to buy the new house. Right. They will give you the money to buy the new house. So you can buy the house, get settled in, and then sell your old home. And sometimes they'll even give you money if you need to update or do some things in the old home. They'll give you money to do right. that. So that way you're not stuck with no place to go. And, and this is so beautiful with new mm -hmm. construction. Because I go new construction, I'm not in the competitive bidding. I pick out my house. I get to pick my colors, my appliances. I get to go to the design center. I get to do all of that. And the program gives me the money to put down on my new house while yes. I'm still in my. Oh, no oh, my, oh my goodness! <laughs> it's like it's like your grandpa loaning you money. Yeah, you know, it's a, your grandpa loaning you money. He just he just want a nice dinner, okay? Yeah. Once you move in, that's about it. Hey, I'm Harry, <laughs> and I'm Jasmine Bing. <laughs> hey, y'all take care now, and we'll see you soon. Give us a call four zero seven six five four two six two six.